जारी प्रभु परमहंस परमहंस भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज इंस्पायर मी दैट इज यू गो यू आर गोइंग इज सो मच नीडेड अदरवाइज सो मेनी 
devotees are drawing there is no good association and now everywhere bhakti is polluted they don't know what is bhakti to offense now they think that to offense or oh, this is bhakti they are not properly giving honor not serving to pure devotees i think swami ji is so much and happy so much and happy for this now that it is where i where have i go if we share so many questions how prabhupad departed from this world i heard so many times from here and there he was wise i become so sad he <coughs> cannot answer how did the devotees can do like this and that is why they have no faith in anybody they want to start proper but they have no way because they have not been taught what is shuddha bhakti they don't know the meaning of anya vilasita shunya ध्यान कर्माध्यनाभुत आनुकूल्यन कृष्णाशीलन भक्ति मनी टू कलेक्ट मनी टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट सब एंड टेकिंग नाइंटी नाइन पर्सेंट इन देयर पॉकेट्स दिस इज भक्ति सो दे आर यूज इन देयर फेट्स ऑन दि मोटिव इनंद गॉड इन कृष्ण Though this Krishna consciousness came from Krishna himself, and in this world Brahma was first devotee of Krishna consciousness, and he knew Narad, Bhar, Shukdev, Ushami, and gradually <coughs> it descended up to <coughs> Madhvendra Puri, Ishwar Puri. Sixth Goswami, like Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami. Really, this is his song. Really, the English name is like this, Krishna consciousness. But it is Vishwa Vishnu Raj Sabha, pure devotion and love to Krishna. And after Madhavendra Puri Padi, Swar Puri Padi, you know. Hauru Pushan, Jee Pushan, Raghunath Das Pushan, later on Krishna Das Pavilaj Pushan, and after that Shyamananda Prabhu Nattam Thakur, Shri Vasha Chandra, Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, Narottam Thakur, Shyamananda Prabhu, and Valdev Vidya Pushan, and after that Jagannath Das Baba Jhara, and then Bhakti Nottam, Shattam Pushan, Seven. Goswami, very powerful, like Rup Goswami. He was the incarnation of Radha Pandit. How <coughs> he spread bhakti, and he get two things: bhakti shidhan sarsati, and the place of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and thus Sri Prabhu Pad. Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur spread all over the world this Krishna consciousness. This is real Krishna consciousness. I know there are so many, there were so many 
the what is uh, of school so called that they never accepted God the Vishnu. Or Prabhupada has established this new scorn and it is coming from him. But he had not established anything new he had not given. He has given his pure love and affection that came from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Pushra. It may be some new bottles. But the Shuri was the same love and affection. So Swamiji, despite me so much time, my Guru Dev also, that you should try to fish, you should try to go to Western and Eastern country. So I only came, I am coming only for teaching this, getting this thing. I don't want money, I don't want uh, disciples. disciples, name, Friend, anything. You are all my friends. I want to help you, like Pujapa Siddhar Maharaj, help all. He was very, very liberal. Broad minded and liberal. Broad minded and liberal. liberal. And he was like a associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So we should try to develop our Krishna consciousness. Though you are, some of you are householders, no how. But always think that we are householders to serve Radha Krishna conjugal, not to test us, our wives, children, are all of the property. property of Krishna. Like Gopis of Nandanam, they used to think, Bande Nanda Prajishte Nam, Padarenum Mabhikshnasa, Jasam Ghari Kutho Vishnati Kumana, Aho Bhagyam, Aho Bhagyam, Nanda Gopu Bhajau Kusham, Janamitram Paramanandam Purunapuram Kusham. I go down to all inhabitants of Nandanam. Not only humans, gopi, even to peacocks, deers, trees and creepers of Nandana. <coughs> Why? Because Krishna thinks for them that they are my friends, they are my father and mother, they are my beloved. And he, the, Krishna prayed with them. Who was he? He was Supreme Personality of God. He was controlled by the love and affections of Prajapasya Lord. That love and affection we want to give you. And Swamiji came only to give this. Not to only distribute books, not to make only money, 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 not to make so many high, high classes of building, and they are establishing Jew gardens. He has not come to we are not uh, honoring internal things, love and affection. And we are going all for duty. Honor all these things and we are going down. So we should try to understand what this internal mood was there. What is the instinction, intrinsic mood of Srimati Radhika, of the gopis, and we should try to follow them. And if you are following all unwanted things, all kinds of offenses, or very quickly it will go. You cannot imagine that when they have gone left you, like miracle, nothing to do with them. We should engage our whole senses, Outwardly, inwardly, that we should have not have single minute to think about all outer things. All this how to serve Radha. If you are not serving, oh, how to serve my Gurudev? 
So devote, pure devotees. So pure Guru Dev never falls. Never. Those who are falling, they are falling. At first we could not show them, now you are seen, you are seen. Actually they are always falling. They have no taste for chanting, remembering and doing so. So in our classes, we will try to give some solid things, affirmative things. That is love and affection. Beginning from Adal Shabda, Tata Shadusan, Atho, Nathanivritti, Nishtha, Ruchi, Asakti, and then Bhava. Well, in this world, up to Bhav. What is Bhakti? How can we develop or exercise Bhakti? We should try to do all these things. I think that we are here for seven days. Seven or eight. Eight days. days. We will try. We will have no test in money and here and here. I want that you should have so much love and affection for pure devotees, pure Guru, and Radha Krishna and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nityananda Prabhu Gauda Radha. So we will discuss all these things. I want that Vajrapalla Prabhu should speak some words. <coughs> There were a couple of things that came to my mind when Sri Gurudev was speaking and uh, it gave me some encouragement because I remembered what my Guru Maharaj said at one point, Paramputya Pride, Sri Vashita Maharaj, he said, uh, we don't think ourselves as devotees, but we like very much to associate with the devotees and serve the devotees. Uh, I don't have much understanding of the scripture, but I'd like to honor the scripture by reciting the scripture. And there was one other that I forget. And I think in my heart I feel like this, that if we can be used by the Vaishnava, then hopefully one day that we can be drawn into the Vaishnava's camp and render service more deeply. Also there is one sloka, I think it's from Lord Kapilade, who said, Satam prasangam mama velya samvido bhavanti hrikkana rasayana tataha taj joshanad svapravaga vatnani Shadha Ratir Bhakti Anukamishri. To hear the words of the real Vaishnava, it is so pleasing to the ear and so much to the heart because these words spoken by the real Vaishnava are full of depth, spirit and power. And they can create an, such an inner change within the hearts of all souls that we will become awakened and desire to receive the gift of the Vaishnava. So, it is pleasing to the heart and to the ear and liberation from our worldly life, the doorway to liberation from our worldly life will be opened wide and we will, we will get some faith, some firm faith and then that shadha, that year, then that year, little taste uh, like that, and then ultimately we will develop real love for the Lord. So, in all of our hearts, Maharaj, we just pray that we can dive deeply into the sweet Harikata that you deliver and us uplift the soul. Mm -hmm.
Haribas. You sing Dharantra Prabhu for a long time. But I am so happy to see Dharantra Prabhu here. He is very senior Vaishnava. And I want that he should be speak to us. It's also very nice to see you, Gurudev. I heard a lecture by Sri Gorbo Maharaj before, and he said, what is really Guru Darshan, not Boga Darshan. So, to really understand your words will give us the love and affection that you're talking about. All the acharyas that you said, that you mentioned, coming down through our Prabhupada, for yourself, is the embodiment of pure love. Unfortunately, at least for myself and some of us, it's hard to grasp that pure love because of our pride. So Krishna comes and he sends his dear representatives to crush our pride, sometimes in very sweet ways and sometimes in very hard ways. Pride seems to be the stumbling block for the heart to open for love and affection that you are so freely giving. I just want to say, <clears throat> there's many examples, but four I'll say very quickly, of the pride. In the Ramayana, um, Shevri was waiting, she was a lady, and she would chew the fruits, knowing one day Ram would come, and she wanted to give some sweet fruits. She wanted Ram to have the sweetest fruits. And so many years went by, Finally, Ram, Lakshman came, and Ram tasted what she already chewed. And Ram, Lakshman said to stop, he wouldn't take any. Anyways, during the battle, when Lakshman was hurt, Hanuman had to find the herbs that would take care of Lakshman and bring him back to, back to life. And it was those seeds that she was chewing that Ram ate that relieved Lakshman. So Lakshman learned the lesson there. That pride stopped him. Indra's pride was crushed by Krishna. When they wanted to worship him, Krishna said, no, you worship, simply worship Govardhan. Brahma pride was crushed when he stole the coward boys. And there was one story when Krishna and Arjun were on the chariot and there was one jackal and the jackal was smelling all the... the dead body was laying there. Krishna stopped the chariot and Arjun was laughing. Why is the jackal smelling the, the body? Why doesn't he just eat him? And so Krishna asked the jackal, why are you smelling... The jackal smelled the arms, the legs, the feet. And the jackal said, if these arms did not worship Krishna, I do not want to eat. If these feet have not walked and done parikram, I don't want to eat. If these eyes have not looked on the deity, I don't want to eat. So anyways, Arjun was such a big, great friend of Krishna, and Krishna crushed his pride. So what to speak of ourself? Srila Prabhupada came to give love and affection like Gurudev was giving. But it's our pride that keeps our heart locked. So by his sweet harikata, Maybe that lock will break, the heart will open. And that love and affection that he speaks about, if one drop enters our hearts, then we too might get a glimpse of what he's talking about. Hare Krishna. Guru Karam Prabhu, very senior Vaishnava. And he has such also Swamiji. 
So I want that he should speak two words. Oh, you should stand up. Namo Mahabhadanaya Krishna Prema Pridayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namani Gaula Jisaya Namaha Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sari Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Again we have the most fortunate opportunity to come here to this assembly in the auspices of our most uh, beloved Gurudev Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj and to also be in the assembly as he mentioned of many of our sincere God brothers and God sisters who for many years of their life have made serious attempt to take what was initially given to us by our beloved Srila Prabhupada and come to some position <clears throat> in which we can feel that we are fulfilling his desire to progress in bhakti. The Srila Gurudev has told us many times and again he spoke here that he is feeling very great sense of duty to perform this task on behalf of Prabhupada to help all of the creepers that he planted and now are now drying up. And no one is more capable to perform this task than our beloved Guru Dev because he is completely absorbed 24 hours and this is his qualification that he is always thinking of the pastimes of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna Gauranga Mahaprabhu and as we travel with him to so many locations around the world we also see that his heart is completely uh, overflowing with this desire to give this nectar to all of us when Gurudev arrived at the airport this morning he said one thing that he wants that there will be affirmative that there will be positive input for the devotee in, their, in his spiritual life not only negative that oh we should not do this we should abstain from this because simply by meditating on that this will not help us to go forward but rather sometimes the mind will contemplate these things too much and become attractive. But the real remedy, the real solution, as Rajabalava Prabhu mentioned, is this Harikata. And this we were told from the very beginning. This medicine, this Bhavao Shadhi, this medicine which can wipe out this disease within our hearts in this world, this is being delivered by the pure devotees. Srila Prabhupada taught us to chant one shloka which most of us remember of the few shlokas that some of us can remember but we would chant it every day before our Bhagavatam class Nashta Prayeshu Avadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki So there's so much beautiful meaning in this shloka but all of our anarthas, all of our abhadras within our heart, nashtak praishu avadreshu, simply by performing this bhagwat seva, this service to the lotus feet of the person bhagwat and of Srimad Bhagavatam, by regularly performing this seva, nityam bhagavata seva, always performing this 24 hours, then, Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki. This bhakti will become fixed within our hearts. 
the heart will be cleansed and bhakti will become fixed within our hearts. Naishtiki bhakti, that means nishta, coming to that platform. And gradually after this, ruchi and asakti and bhav. This is, our, this is why we are performing this bhakti process, is to come to these higher stages. But without the association of a sadhu, of a real sadhu, of a personality who can give us this medicine, it will not be possible for us to come to this level. So therefore, Shrinvatam Svakata Krishna Punya Sravana Kirtana Pradhyantak Sto Hivadrani Vidhunoti Suhitsatam. That well wishing friend of ours, Krishna, who is within our hearts, he is arranging for us to have the Sangha of his pure devotee who can give us this beautiful kata, Srinvatam Sokata Krishna. And this is so powerful. It is Punya Shravana Kirtana. It will remove all the abhadras within our heart. So if we lend our ear fully to this message transmitted by such personalities, then we will immediately feel the effect. Our spiritual life will immediately begin to blossom. And gradually we, our shraddha will become so strong. And all of these abhadras and all of these difficulties in our spiritual lives will simply vanish. They will go away of their own accord. We don't have to separately endeavor. So it is our very great good fortune again to come here and personally, I'm very fe feeling myself very blessed to be able to come here because I know that uh, Gurudev especially has a fondness for this assembly of devotees, as he mentioned also in America, because there are so many very eager plants who are waiting for their water. So I offer my respectful obeisances unto all the Vaishnavas present. Vancha kalpa turukishya, pipa sindhu di, vancha patitana, padari, yo, vaishnavi, yo, namo. I want that uh, our classes should be regular and you should manage the timings. In morning, one class, one session, and evening, one session, like previous years. No? And I want that all the devotees, who oh, they really want to develop their Krishna consciousness, they must try. No? If any uh, very then they can give up that class, otherwise not. Regularly, seven days, or eight days we are here, yes, or try to come and hear all these classes. So, now it is too late for me, and I will have to take some rest. So now our meeting is stopped, stopped for stopped. a little while. Mm -hmm. And I request you all that you should come in our evening classes from when enjoy. Then all the police can assemble at five o'clock for Kirtan. And Bhajan, please all participate. That is a very wonderful deep uh, value in sitting together and having kirtan, glorifying the names of Krishna, the pastimes of Krishna. And there are some very nice devotees who have come with us from Mathura Vrindava, who are so much uh, inspired and enthusiastic to help all. So please join our kirtans from 5 o'clock on, and then Shri Gurudev will all speak at 6 o'clock this evening. Mm. Yes, so try to call that Sindar lady. She's here. Krishna Premi is here. Where? Yes, I saw her. Yes, so always comes in our classes, especially in, in evening. If you cannot come in morning, you should come. And where is your husband? Yours? Where is? 
He's, he's on the way. He oh. was on the way from Brisbane to here, and he called us in the car. You remember? Oh, he, he was fine. Yes. yes. You are okay. Rukmavati. <laughs> Your daughter? Your daughter is okay? Rangadev. Yes. <coughs> so, we will talk. Today I will come more early in my class and I will meet all. You are like some are my brothers and others are my dear darling daughters and dear like son and friends. So nothing to fear. I am always one to meet heartily from one heart to another like this. I don't want to be far away and in an affluent way that also sit here. And this you also regard. I don't want to regard. <laughs> so I want that we should meet freely if anything to ask God for asking or hearing, we will hear and try to solve all these things. There is only one question. There is no another question. Only problem. How to serve Krishna? And especially how to more serve Radhika? <laughs> and we can have all by serving God can. Without their mercy, we cannot enter in the realm of in the service of Radha and Krishna community. Especially Nityananda Prabhu Guru Tatma. And he is so merciful. If we can take shelter, oh he will make me with shower his mercy. And then quickly will out of all my desires, worldly desires. Kavinityananda Prabhu, Kavinityananda Prabhu, Hari Hari Bolite, Naina Varavini, Kavinitai Chandra, Karuna Hari Sansara. So, we should try to come and hear. Uh, so, only this is the problem. There is no other problem. This main problem makes lacks and lacks problem. So, how to serve Radha and Krishna? This is main problem. If you will solve this, all problems will quickly, in a moment, it will be solved. So, we try to solve this problem. Go to my. Oh. Krishna Premi. Krishna Premi. Oh, by that Australian soul you should do that Kirtan. <coughs> oh, all. Oh. So you should take some medicine and that. <laughs> I will try to discover any medicine. <laughs> oh. You should all by that soul. Krishna.